Hey guys, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me today and requesting your free video. So today we're going to go over a few tips that you can apply right away. That's really going to help with your online presence and getting more organic leads. Now it is important to note that nearly 70% of your leads are going to come from your website. So it is really important that your website be properly optimized so you can capture those leads and don't have to rely on paid lead services like Angie's and Home Advisor. Okay, so here we are on your website. You've got a good looking website. Love the logo. Uh, I love that you have the click to call for your phone number. That's awesome. You have separate pages for each of your services, which is really good. This is exactly what you want. Um, you want to make sure that all pages have their own original content and their own unique keywords that they're targeting. You don't want duplicated content or the same keyword on multiple pages. Otherwise, Google is going to penalize you for it. Okay, so we've got interlinking pages. That's good. That helps with your SEO. We've got a little bit of content here. But I'm not really seeing any local buyer intent keywords. And you're servicing multiple counties. So you're definitely going to want separate service area pages for these counties. That way you can actually be found in those counties or cities for the services that you're offering. Um, service area pages should be like mini home pages, a summary of each of your services, um, but focused on the keywords for that specific city or county. Now your home page, Google wants you to have a minimum of 1500 words of content. Um, or more, depending on what your competitors are doing. If your competitors have more content, you need more than they have. Now, your content needs to be built around your services and your local buyer intent keywords. Those are the keywords people are actively searching in Madison for your services. Um, so that's going to be really, really important for you guys is to work on your content and keyword strategy. Now, if we look at your top competitor for water damage in Madison, we have AJ Property Restoration. They have a nice website as well. They've got the phone number up top. They've got the separate pages for each of their services. Let's see. They have the interlinking pages like you guys do. but they also do not have much content. Um, but they do have service area pages for the cities that have good search volume for their services. Um, so that's going to be really important to do as well. These guys should be relatively easy to beat, but you guys will have to work on your content and keyword strategy, and then support that with search engine optimization. Because without SEO, your website is not going to be found online. So if we look here, you have a rating of a 14 out of 100 in Google's Trust Flow, which isn't too bad. That's actually pretty good. Um, and this score is based all on your backlinks and referring domains. And while you do need a lot of these, not all are created equal, so you want to make sure that you're only going after authoritative do follow referring domains because they will give you authority and help you to rank. If we look here, only 27 of yours are do follows, which means only 27 of your links are doing anything to help you because Google only gives you credit for one backlink per referring domain. You do have 250 keywords that have been indexed, but you're only getting 17 people on average to your website. If we look at your keywords, you only have one keyword on the first page of Google, and that is your brand, 
which is also a national keyword. So national keywords are not going to help you because you're not servicing people across the country. So what will happen when you use national keywords and rank them to the first page of Google, you're going to get false traffic. You're going to get people on your site that will not convert into customers. So you do need to focus on local buyer intent keywords like these ones here for Appleton and Madison. Um, this way you have the potential to actually convert them into customers. Now, if we look at your top competitor, they have a rating of a 29 with over 2000 backlinks and over 500 referring domains. And of those 460 are do follows. So you would have to beat their 460 referring domains. Um, that is beatable, but it is going to take some time. You can't throw that many up at one time. They've also been indexed for over 3000 keywords and they're getting over 1100 people to their site per month. So um, it just shows you how important it's going to be to optimize your site and support it with the SEO so you can start capturing this kind of traffic as well. And the last part of this is this Google My Business section. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section because 30% of people search in the maps and don't search anywhere else. So if you're not listed in this top three, you send all those leads to your competition. Now, in order to be in the top three, there are several factors, including website performance. But the most important factor are your citations. And that's the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, and Glassdoor. Um, and so you're going to need more of those than your competition. But when you follow all of these steps I provided you today, your website has the opportunity to be number one in your service area for each of your services. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and I would love your feedback. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.